that's what they call it, Kate Bradley or something like that, whatever it was. All right, it's time for our movie draft. We're doing Adam Sandler movies because, unfortunately, John Flaherty, the jackass mm. guy. Hey, Gilmore, you suck! Mm. You jackass! Passed away. Jackass. I do have a couple of fun facts, though, about Happy Gilmore. Okay. First one. Did you know what the producers tried to convince Adam Sandler to name Happy Gilmore? I remember. It slips my mind now, but I recently heard this. But, yeah, it slips my mind. Land, any guesses? No. Hole in fun. All right. They honestly great. tried to convince him to call Happy Gilmore Hole in Fun. Mm. I've seen that movie. Though. Sounds like a 90s movie. Sounds like a porno. porno. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. And the next fact here is, did you know that Happy Gilmore is an actual guy? No. Uh, He's not like Kramer. Okay, so he's not an actual <laughs> hockey player turned golfer, but the name Happy Gilmore is it's a friend of Alan Covert, the, the okay. star of uh, Grandma's Boy, who has also played mm-hmm. Happy Gilmore's caddy. <clears throat> Him, there's an actual guy that he knows whose name is Happy Gilmore. All right, all right, here we go with our movie draft. Frank, you are going first, my good man. Let oh. us know exactly who you are rocking and rolling with. Uh, my first one, I, I I enjoyed this one more than anything. Uh, Fifty First Dates. That's your first Adam Sandler movie? Yeah, I thought that it, it was actually a pretty decent movie. It, it wasn't like because the majority of his the first what that five years deal. that he came out with were a bunch of just like kind of dick and ball fart. Yeah, you know, those are the best ones. Yeah. Yeah. Boy stuff. <laughs> Which was fine, but after a while, it got old. This this one actually had a decent story to it, and he actually had to act a little bit in it, and he was and he showed a little bit of his acting chops in this movie. So I, I kind of like that one out of out of most of them that he's done. I it do like it. I, it yeah, good. I do think I do think it's a good movie. All right, Lan, moving on to you. I'm going with the first Adam Sandler movie ever that I've seen. Anyway. Billy Madison. There you go. Nice. So hot. Want to touch the Heidi. Oh, here we go. Little Billy yes. Madison right there. <laughs> that Veronica Vaughn is one fine piece of ace. 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 And, what, and probably one of the best things about that movie is that, yeah, it was an Adam Sandler film, but I also feel like it was more of a an SNL film. Yeah. Yeah, you, well, had, was, you, had, you, had, you had Chris Farley in there. Norm MacDonald when he makes Norm that with the old lady. Was in it. At the end well, when they're all celebrating. <laughs> Lauren Michaels produced it, right? He was yeah, Lauren, Mi- Lauren Michaels that. produced all this stuff. But then, unfortunately, yeah. what this did is this led to a lot of those SNL movies that sucked. Yeah. But I guess that's always kind of been a recurring thing. Well, I, they don't really do it anymore. But remember, they tried to constantly 90s, capitalize on thing. things. Yeah. And, um, all right. So we're going to, to me here. And so we've already got some suggestions over here where uh, Scuba Steve is saying Big Daddy. Uh, and Mr. Deeds, both very high quality Adam Sandler movies. Anna says, Little Nikki, I've never seen it because I cannot get past oh, this whole thing that he talks geez. like this. Like, I, I can't. I can't. That was. Um, and she says that her husband says, Click. I do enjoy Click. I know it's a little bit cheesy. I know it's a little bit hokey, but I do enjoy that movie. But my first pick for Adam Sandler movie is going to be. Eric. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, it's on my list. That is a wonderful movie. So, you know, this time's up perfectly. My brother's in town this week with his kids, and we were talking, I think, about Adam Sandler or something for whatever reason. And he talked about how Airheads is a horrible movie. And I was what? like, dude, what? what? I was like, do you not remember that? We watched it all the time as a kid. He's like, it sucked. It was so bad. I was like, dude, I, I might disown you because that's a good movie, yeah, man. Dude. It's a great movie. So, for my second choice, since I get to go back to back, I had another one in line, but I'm wondering if Lan has this one on his list. And I don't What wanna, is it? And I'll tell you. Uh, yeah. I, I, I mean, I don't necessarily want to pick it. He'll react with it. Ah! If it comes back around to me, it's going to be my third choice. But since you guys have skipped over this, I got to go with Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. Yeah, it was on my list. Well, I knew Happy Gilmore would be on your list, but there's another one that I had that I'm I'm, I'm wondering if you have it on your list. But Frank, or uh, no, oh, Lane, you're actually up next. What's what you going with? Uh, I'm gonna go with um, before anybody else picks. I'm going with Waterboy. 
The w -w -w -water, water boy. boy. I believe this might be the first movie that has actually shown up twice. Because somebody picked this for yeah. football movies as well. Football. Oh, for the football, yep. yeah. Uh, yeah, the beard says, Waterboy, Grown Ups, Airheads, honorable mention to just go with it because Jennifer Aniston in a bikini. Yes. Mm. And just go with it. It's actually, it's a, it's a good movie. I enjoy it. They, I mean, he's, well, trust me, he's got a lot of... Picks. Huh? So I hope those were nobody's picks. Uh, They've been drafted. Maybe not. All right, Frank, back to you. You get to go back to back. What are your second and third Adam Sandler movies? Uh, but to, to again, just to go on, I guess it's more kind of serious side. I don't know if you guys have ever seen... Um, it was. It came out. I don't exactly remember. Let me check the date on it. See, it came out in 07. Do you guys remember his movie Rain on Me? Rain over me. and Don me. Cheadle. Rain over me with him and yep. Don Cheadle. That was that was a really good that one too. He's like I could have sworn I had the poster for that. I guess I don't. Oh, you lost it. That was a I good one where that. he's like he's a widower. Like his wife died. Yeah, in 9 11. Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. won't he won't I... ever leave the house because of it. And he just I thought he did. I just liked his performance in it. So that was my second one. Yeah, that's that's one of it. That's one of the ones that um, I was hoping somebody would at least bring up. I have it in my honorable mentions. But yeah, I I have. I swear to God, let me. Maybe I don't. Yeah, they had one of the yeah, best. Yeah, yeah. I got it right here. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that was that was a good that was a good movie. It, it was missed by a lot of people. I don't think it really did that well in the theaters, but it was a good movie. Mm -hmm. All right, so what's your third and final choice there, Franklin? Um, see, I, I was I didn't go with the, I knew you guys were going to go with the more, uh, I guess, uh, say I it, say immature. Ones. No, not immature. <laughs> like the the funnier. ones that most people the ones that most people go for with with Adam Sandler because he should. I mean, they're good. but I, I like funny people. The one where he's That's the, a good, uh, the, dude. the comedian. I'm telling you, it's with you, him and Do you know what scene steals that movie? Let's hear it. Eminem. It was basically the movie's about his life. It's he was a stand up comedian and went into movies and the movies aren't doing that well and he's getting back into stand up and Jonah Hill and um Seth Rogan or like his writers and yep. stuff. It was really and good. And the Riz the Riz is in it. Riza. Remember, because he works at uh, he works at like the deli or whatever with Seth Rogen. Mm -hmm. Um, I know I have the the poster here for that somewhere. There you go, funny people. Yeah, no, uh, Eminem, hands down, steals that goddamn movie <laughs> because there's a, there's a scene where he's like Ray Romano is eyeballing him. He's like, we got this fucking guy over here, and and Eminem doesn't know who Ray Romano is. And they're like, come on, everybody loves Ray. And he's like, do you want to fuck me? Like, out loud in the restaurant. <laughs> he also steals, the steals like, a scene in the... What was the um, the movie Seth Rogen and James Franco um, where they go to North Korea? Oh, oh, the um, the dictator? Yeah, whatever. It's where they're interviewing him. He's like, yo, and, like, I'm gay. And uh, he keeps talking to James Franco. You got that great meme where he's like, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you if you haven't seen funny people, just look up the Eminem scene. It's fucking hilarious. All right, so Frank's got 51st States, Rain Over Me, and Funny People. Lan, what is your third movie? Um, <clears throat> kind of tied here between two of them. Ooh, 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 tasty. Twist and tie. But I I think I think I'm gonna go with Mr. Deeds. Oh, such a good movie. I love Mr. Deeds. Hey, Deeds. And, and, I, I think because butler. Winona Ryder is in there, and she's really hot. And she might steal something from you if she stays at your house. Yeah. And then... Um, <laughs> your virginity. What? <laughs> and then what's his name? The butler. The butler's great. Yeah, uh, the butler's like the oh, best part um, of John Turturro. John Turturro. Yeah, John Turturro. Did you yeah. underestimate my sneakiness there? My him, sneakiness. And, him and Zohan was fantastic. <laughs> I like when she falls in the lake. He's like, watch out, here comes the black foot! Slams it through the ice. <laughs> So Mr. Deeds is there. All right. So now it's on me. And for my third and final pick, I'm still not 100% sure which one I was going to go with. But here are all of your honorable mentions. And Scuba Steve actually just put this one on in the YouTube chat. Anger Management, which I think is a really, really, really good movie. That's such a wild movie. Yeah. Just Jack Nicholson being in it. Like, just being Jack Nicholson, basically, is just wild. Oh, uh, I think uh, I'll skip this one. This one might be my choice, but okay, here's the one that I was wondering if Lan was going to, what was your other choice, Lan? The one you were fighting with? Uh, Big Daddy. Okay. Mm -hmm. So spoiler alert, I'm going to go with Big Daddy. 
I just, I, that's, <laughs> I, I think it's a great movie where they got the dude on the, uh, and John Stewart shows up. It's like, you know, Canadian beers like moonshine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Big Daddy's a great movie. So here are some of the other honorable mentions that I had. However, there was Blended with Drew Barrymore mm-hmm. as well. Um, what else do we have here? This is the one that I was wondering if Lane was going to pick. Like, I think he saw this one. Bulletproof. Actually, yeah. I never saw that. When it was do first, you guys remember this like, one? I do remember. I remember the hype around it. I've never seen it either. I just remember in high school, like the hype around that movie when it was coming out. All right. They were doing a bunch of those, yeah, those weird, like, cop and, you know, criminal, you know, funny comedy type movies at that time. Um, more serious movie here. You got Punch, Punch Drunk Love. All right. Uh, you also had this one. Uh, my wife and I watched. We really enjoy this Mayorowitz stories. It's got uh, Ben Stiller and uh, Dustin Hoffman along with Adam Sandler. It's a really like highly, highly, highly recommend this one. Some of the sillier stuff, which I still thought was funny. I now pronounce you Chuck, Chuck and Larry. Larry yeah. The scene with um, <laughs> Ving Rhames. <laughs> Ving Rhames is great in this movie, by the way. Just in case you've never seen it. Um, let me see here. Click. I think I mentioned this before. I thought Click was actually a really good movie because I think that there's a lesson behind it, which is basically you don't get to just skip through the good parts in life. You still got to go through all of the... Plus Kate Beckinsale's in it and she's a fox. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, have you seen that she's like sick? No. Yeah. There, I, I saw a story. Oh, she has like the cold or something? No, like she's like in the hospital, like... And it, she doesn't look good. Um, I'll see if I can bring that up here uh, uh, when we're done. But then we also have this is a go to for my family every Halloween, even though it's really stupid. It should be Halloween. Jesus. If you go in, if you go in knowing what to expect from an Adam Sandler movie, then you're uh, you'll That's be what you're gonna get. entertained. Yeah, you're gonna get an Adam Sandler movie. One that I haven't seen, which I heard is really good, Hustle. I've heard this yeah. one is actually really, really good. Yeah. Um, we also had Little Nicky. There's that one for you, Anna. God, I, I just couldn't stand that movie. I saw it in theaters and I'm just, I forgot everything about it right when I left. Murder Mystery. Go watch it. It's very good. It's on Netflix. Um, I never actually saw this one, Pixels. It wasn't as bad. It, it, remember, it bombed at the box office and was like the worst movie that year. I didn't, I mean, I watch it every now and then when it comes on FX. It's not that bad. I don't know why people hated that movie so much. It's actually pretty funny. I think I might need to to check it out because I've seen It gets scenes. a lot of hate. I've seen yeah. scenes from it and they seem to be fairly entertaining. No, I mean, it's it, it's a it's a funny movie. I mean, I but man, people hate it on that movie. Uh, you also have Spanglish as well, which was another good one with him. Here's a movie that I have not been able to get past the first scene. The Ridiculous Six. There's this all opening right. scene that is beyond stupid that I'm just like, I cannot do this at all. Like, I just, I can't, I, I, I know what to expect when it comes to an Adam Sandler movie, but for some reason, in yeah, no way, shape, or form. Yeah, was a little overboard. Yeah. Uh, then there was also, you got That's My Boy with uh, Andy Samberg. Yeah. See, this is one I wish Spano was here. That was another overboard one. Because Spano, yeah, Spano, uh, hated that too. Spano loves this movie. But that it, one has it, like it has the, moments. It has a cameo of Al Pacino and Johnny Depp in the in that movie, and it's just the wildest thing. Oh no, wait, no, that, that was Jack and Jill. I'm thinking of that where they have their the, Jack and Jill was that one. Okay, I mean this yeah, hot piece of garbage. Ice. Yeah, that one that got bo- that bomb. Yeah, Al Pacino and Johnny Depp like are cameos in the one of his worst movies ever. So we also have the longest yard. Or at least his version of the Me. longest yard. Yeah, we had. Uh, you don't mess with the Zohan. <laughs> I just like the fact that they they like tease like he's supposed to have a giant schlong the whole time, and it's all about the bush. <laughs> I, am a little, I am a little surprised that nobody chose uncut gems. Never seen it. Really? Have you seen it, Liam? Yep. Never watched. It. Nope. Um, it is really really good. Yeah. But it's it's it, it it's unsettling to watch. Like everyone thought he was going to win the Oscar that year for it. No, remember he, what he said was if he doesn't get nominated, he's going to go make the worst movie ever. And he didn't even get nominated for it. So that's then he right, went and, did, right. he went and right. made Hubie Halloween. <laughs> I don't know if that's what. Right. But then oddly enough, can you guys think of the one big Adam Sandler movie we haven't even brought up yet? Eight Crazy Nights. Uh, 
don't know about that. That's that. That's that big, but I do have that poster here. Uh, grown that? ups. Uh, grown ups was a big one as well. Which I again, I don't know where that poster the went. First one was the second one was kind of just grown ups too. That's what you're going to say. The oh. wedding oh, scene. Oh yeah. yeah! Why did I completely forget about that? Right. It's a good movie. Him, and, movie. him and Drew yeah. Barrymore had that fun connection for a while there. Yeah, and then now now it's him and Salma Hayek. Yeah. Or yeah, there you go. See, Nightmare, Nightmare had it right. I knew that you typed that before it came up, Nightmare. Good job. She knew it was a wedding singer. So there you go. There's our uh, Adam Sandler movie draft. Frank had 50 First Dates, Rain Over Me and Funny People. Lan had Billy Madison, Waterboy and Mr. Deeds. I had Airheads, Happy Gilmore, and Big Daddy.